Hello everyone, it is Stephen and Andrea from Pin in the Atlas. Listen. Ah, we have missed that piece of the desert. Oh, hello. Now what is that? We are in the ghost town of Sabat, high in the Sabat Mountains in Arizona. Now the buildings you can see behind me, they're a later addition. They were built in the 1970s. The original town was built in the mid 1800s. Post office opened in 1872 and closed in 1912, making Subat a ghost town. Let's explore. We'll start here first at the, uh, the remains of the old workshop. So, and as you can see, there's a different mix of building materials. There's got cement there, the wood, the lumber there, metal. You've got these stones. So it's a, it's a mix of a bunch of different materials. So I don't know if maybe they added on to what was here later on. Well, by all accounts, these buildings were built in the 70s. They tried to revive the mining operation but the gold was all tapped out years ago. Oh, I see. And here's remains of a old water tank, cyanide tank maybe. Yeah, you can see the, uh, the metal siding in the roof that's all collapsed in. out, see if there's anything else of interest. Had to stop to get this because this isn't something that you, you see every day. The front of an old truck. That yeah, was pretty big. Continuing on with the old workshop. We're going along the back side now. So they did obviously come through and take all the necessary machinery out. Anything they could reuse, I'm sure. But a bunch of lumber and metal left over. Oh, what's this? Got a little cement pad with some blocks. That down there to me looks like a, a loo. Let's take a look. I believe that is what it is. Yep, it sure is. Most definitely, no mistake in that. Put in a nice skylight feature. Really no privacy anymore. It's pretty clean. Yeah, hasn't been used for a while. Neat. And here's the other side of that workshop. So this will be the last part that we show. Cause this is where you get the most view. Not much else standing, a few little brick alcoves cinder block alcoves. We'll check out this little building first. Cause it's in a very bizarre location. See a little concrete path. Drops over the edge. More pieces there. But that's the wash. It's strange. And then this very small building. A 
clubs on the floor, cardboard, got some piping. I don't know if this is like a, just an office, somebody to maintain the paperwork. What would the pipe speak for though? I don't, it could be a water station. Maybe there was um, plumbing in here. That's what it looks like to me. Let me go with that. Cause this was back in the 70s. 70s. Mm -hmm. I was thinking they could have started mining copper because Mineral Park, which is literally just a couple of miles along the road is one of the largest copper mines and they're still mining there today. It's got a massive open air pit. Right. Then if we pan out over here, whoops. There's some more pieces of it. Time to go into the last building in this section and the most intact one. I can see that there's a, some drywall that's fallen down already. Somebody's trying to create a fire pit in there. Elements have gotten to the best of that roof. Metal doors. Oh, I know what that is. We'll take a look in a minute. All right. So those are uh, pretty These solid. These are solid metal doors. I think this was just a workshop. Or if they tested minerals or... Maybe. Yeah, workbench there, some shelving. Continue on this way. More shelves. Now, I don't know what all that is on the floor. No, I don't. It's quite a lot of rat poop, so we better be careful. Mm. Another storage room there. Do you want to go to the storage room first? Big as well. Oh, yuck. <laughs> mm. Fluorescent light bulbs. So, not a great deal in there. No, nope, some more shelving. And that's it. Okay. Hang on, what was that? Fire preventer. On closer inspection, this is not poop. No. Kind of looks like kitty litter. seen better days. But it even, even has a shower. Nice. And you've got some wasps nests on the side. 
Linux Ender Block. And this is an old metal safe. Look at that. Nice and solid. So we kept the uh, precious materials in here. Yeah, you wouldn't want to be locked in there by mistake, would you? No. That would get stifling. Last little room. Now I wonder what that was. Staff swimming pool. <laughs> now I've noticed also there are a lot of white pipes dotted around. Now someone told me that they're new mining claims, but I don't know whether that's correct. Mm. So I wonder what they are if they're not mining claims. I remember hearing the same thing, so that's what I always thought. Or if it's marking the, the vein that goes through the mountain. Not sure. Okay, so that does the more modern section of the town, even though it's from the 70s, so it's not that modern. But where's the uh, older section? Further up, uh, there should be some remains of the old town and also the Golden Gem Mine, Ooh. which was the richest mine at the time. It found the richest ore. Uh, and the shaft, I believe, only went 300 feet deep before the ore tapped out and they ended up closing it. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. So the best ore is only in a small spot? Apparently so. Now, the original town only ever had 100 residents, but it still had a doctor, a lawyer, and a school. What about saloons? You know every town had to have saloons, right? Probably. Yeah. What would a mining town be without a saloon, or two, or three? Now I have a fun fact. This mountain range, Serbat. Serbat is Native American for bighorn sheep. And apparently, many, many years ago, bighorn sheep roamed this whole area. True story. Oh wow, that would have been cool to see. Driven up a little ways and have discovered all these remnants of the mine. So we're gonna walk up there, get a closer look, see what's left. Here's a close up of this container built by Arizona Mine Supply Company, Prescott, Arizona. It's got a unique shape. Now we know up here there was a gold mine that produced some of the richest gold ore, I believe it was called the Golden Queen Mine, something like that. And then this trough is interesting. You see it's got this channel. It goes all the way along the outside there. And then it's got a dump off chamber right there. Look at how it's just rusted out. But the cone shape is very unusual. I haven't seen that yet. And you can see there's a rest of some of the materials scattered down the side. Hello, Tonto. So that to me looks like a stamp, the remains of a stamp mill and then you've got mining structures on top. And then over to the left, I've just spotted another building.
What do you say we look at the stamp mill first? I think so, since we're right here. Okay. Looks like there's been a fire. There's a bunch of charred wood here. Now, I wonder whether or not that was a mining accident. Oh, look at the lizard. And he's gone. Or whether or not that was arsonists. Later on. Hard to tell. But not much is left. One of the tailings seem to be covering that up there. So I don't know if they abandoned this section later on. Shipped it down the mountain a little bit more. I don't know. Well, the mine itself didn't last for very long from what I can have read. And if this is the main mine, then it only had one um, vertical shaft of 300 feet and then the minerals all tapped out. Oh, okay. So short-lived. Very. On the side of the debris field, you see next to the pipe, an ore cart track. So we'll pick our way up, see what else awaits. Now from up here, we get a better view. That giant column that's fallen down. And all the metal, charred lumber. And the cement here. It's like the rust streaming down from the metal on the sides. And just a lot of ash charred rock, rusted out metal. Even up there in that little valley there. And then here, I'm standing next to, you can see a wooden platform. Wow. What's in there? 
It's a shaft, sheer drop with a ladder. The ladder's a little bit too rickety though. And there's a lot of, uh, a lot of the woods caved in, but it's just really slippery. The ground's really slippery. Okay. But let me get my shadow out of the way. Oops. Okay. Take your glasses off. Here we go. Oh yeah. I've got your belt. That's pretty uh, intense. Oops. Mind your head. Yeah, pretty deep, eh? Might try to... Uh, Do you want to climb down there? I'm joking. <laughs> stay out, to, stay alive. <laughs> I'm gonna try and get up there, maybe get a better shot down the ladder. Okay. There we go. There's a shot looking down the ladder. Zoomed in as far as I can. I can't see anything on this screen because of the sun. Hopefully we can see something down there though. Another interesting fact about the old town of Serbat was it used to hold the third county seat. Andrea spotted this rock balancing precariously on these other ones. Now look how cracked it all is. Looks like it's about to fall apart. They're like um, tectonic plates. Just a patchwork. Interesting. Yeah, it's pretty neat. Down in a wash now. Doesn't really look all that interesting. Typical wash. Until you see this. Now, don't know if these were cubbies for a little bit of storage. Pretty cool that it's still standing, because this is a wash. And further this way, see the foundations of a building. So we are now in the remains of Serbat. And just a little further up, some more foundations. And then also, on the hillside, you can see the remains of a rock wall that goes up all the way to there and down. And at the very top, up over there, the far mountain massive tailings pile. Climbed up just a little bit, get a better view of that rock wall. Looks like it could have been an old mining road. Disappearing off into the mountain. Thank you.
get that. small. I see a bunch of landslides have filled it up. Or it could be just one big mantle landslide, but the doorway is not very tall. So maybe this was just for storage. some more remains and this we're in two minds about because you look in the middle looks like those are old school bed frames that's our perimeter looks like it could be a, a bed frame maybe a, a homemade one but obviously the little spring part is too small for that so I don't know if there was extras if that spring came out of the seat of a car and they just put together and made a bed out of it with extra ones. Really unsure. And plus the size, this place is pretty big. Hang at the top to a chimney there piece of wood right behind Andrea also. See there's remains that side like it could have been a yard. And then this little place. Not much left at all. And then what's interesting, back over there, looks like it's a cellar. from the back. So if that was somebody's home, it was very small. That nice yard, nice view. Try to hold that as steady as possible. Give you all a chance to read that. We'll show you a couple more things before we walk in. July 27th, 89. Does that say fire crew? Hold on, somebody. And then another one over there. It's getting covered up. Now we are at the cemetery. At and Serbat. It's Serbat Cemetery. And we were asked not to give out its location because of, you know what, the dreaded vandals. Well, they haven't just vandalized the place. What they have done is people have come in here and stolen headstones and defaced 
the graves, which is pretty sick, in my opinion. It is. We, we've stated before, we don't like vandalism. That's pretty low. Vandalizing historic sites, that's even lower. But vandalizing and stealing from somebody's grave? And that's just, that's unspeakable. So this little girl, Lucy Jones, born... That January? Jan 19th, 1890, died July 10th, 1892. Two years old, bless her. Mm. But what a massive grave. The size of it for a child. It is for a two-year-old. Though the cement work looks, I mean, it's not exactly modern, modern, but it's newer. So maybe they didn't know the exact location, so they just did the perimeter. There's another one over here. Uh, you might have to walk around the other way. Hmm, Jones. Can't quite read the first name. Born February 23rd, 1837. Died February, I think that's first, 1902. So very young still. Hmm, might be, is that Reese? Reese Jones? Now, I wonder whether or not these two were related in some way. Now here's the remains of another grave, which is just overgrown with cactus, some plant life. And then just over here next to it, again underneath all the cactus, there's another one. And I'll just kind of show a little bit, Andrew is walking the perimeter, just how overgrown this site has become. No markers, no names, just a few outlines that we were able to see. So we've scoured the outside perimeter, seeing if we could find any other markers or anything. And there's only the two, which we know there's a lot more graves in here. What makes it that much more sad? Because these, these people once told jokes. They once told stories. They once loved someone and were loved by someone. But they sit out here alone and forgotten. Unfortunately, it's that time again. The video has to end. But we thank you so much for coming along with us to explore the ghost town ruins of Serbat. It was a very fun little explore, I thought. Yeah, I did too. Thoroughly enjoyed it. And on that note, get out there, go and explore, put another pin in the atlas, and we will see you on our next adventure. Bye. Bye. So we'll just explore some of those things. We will venture on. Oops. I got that on camera. Did you get that on camera? I did. Are you okay? Oh, she's okay. All right, let's venture on. Say something else as well about like it was a nice little explore or something.